Well, hello there, everybody. Trey here, and welcome back to the game that makes fun of you if you're a little bit of a chunky boy. We are back out in Grand Emprise, and we're back at my little base that we built in the first episode. Gotta say, I'm super excited to get deeper into this game. I'm hoping we can make our way down the next tech tree and uh, unlock wherever we go next. We're kind of nearing the end, as you can see. We just unlocked iron working and right now we need to make an iron anvil for that because i built the smelter before um i don't think i have any iron left do i yeah i've already built the ingots that i can make and uh i guess we're gonna have to build the anvil next okay so to make the anvil we need two iron ingots i've been just cooking a little bit more i guess we'll put this by where we make the ingots um so we'll add some logs i think i can make one more with this push that and let's go fill my water skins in case they're empty. All right, so we'll cool that off, get my ingots, and now we construct this with a pickaxe. All right, hopefully we can get into metalworking. I haven't even built a full leather armor yet, so I'm curious to see, can I build... I can't build iron armor yet, but I can build iron weapons. We got four ingots. Can I do one of each? No, it takes two per. Actually, wow, it takes four for the iron hatchet. Why does it only take two for the iron pickaxe? Technically, the head of an iron pickaxe is larger than an iron hatchet, so I'm a little confused. All right, so what do we need? I guess we can go technically down any we want. I feel like I'm not having a problem harvesting. Hell, I could punch things and still harvest pretty fast in this game, so I'm going to build the spear just in case those tribes people to try and try and screw me over. I did kill like five of them, but uh, who cares about that? We now have our iron spear. But more importantly, that has unlocked... Ooh, a timely upgrade. Caveman camp has been marked on your screen in case you didn't yet find any bones. Upgrade your time travel device in the iron anvil to go to further in time. Okay, so I already have bones. Do I have enough? Crap! Plus, we need two more iron ingots for this. So you know what? I do want to uh, go kill those guys, definitely. But I would also like to tan some of this leather. I did kill some more dinosaurs off recording. And I have lots of hide. I just need some salt. All right, made it to the salt deposits, which is right by the coastline here. So we're going to grab everything that we can. And it seems like this spawns like every day. So I might need to come back because it does take a lot of salt to uh, tan the hides. But if we can get a couple more pieces of gear, that would be fantastic. Just in case the tribes people give me a little bit of a problem. Oh, oh, oh God, that's a problem. Okay, okay, come on, man. Right by the salt, that's where literally all the deposits are. I mean, I do have a new spear. I don't know if it will be smart. I love how a crocodile won't go across the river. Screw you! That one's for Steve Irwin. Okay, I've ridded the world of its salt. Is my canoe sinking? No. Okay, thank God. And back down the river we go back to our base. Anyways, as I was saying about the developer, he does use a lot of public assets and a lot of people are hating him for that. But did you really expect a single developer not to use public assets? I think he did a pretty good job, all things considered, to kind of blend these assets together and... Uh, I don't know how much of it he developed himself, but I'm enjoying myself so far, and that's all that really matters. All right, home sweet home with a crap load of salt. So let's get uh, saltifying these hides. I don't know how much it takes per. Um, I need to salt the hides first. Where do I do that? Here? Yes. Okay, so it takes four salt per hide. Okay, there we go. I just got to keep filling my water skins because it does take water as well. All right, and I got just enough salt. I have four left over. That gives me 11 salted hides. So we'll now tan those bad boys. And that's going to take a little while, but that should give me... How much is it per? Oh, actually, we should get the full suit by far. Nice. Okay, now that we have the hides, I just need the feet, the helmet, and I guess we'll put on some pants. All right, now operation. Oh my God, look at my get up now. I look so badass. Operation, get some bones, but we need uh, iron ore more than anything else. I thought the exclamation mark was somewhere this way. Does it really hide when I'm in my canoe? That's kind of annoying. Oh, it is there. I just couldn't see it. All right, hello, my fellow tribesmen. You have a nice look at... Oh, that's a dope space, man. I actually wish I built there. All right, but we have to go kill some tribesmen. Um, Bring one at a time if we can. Yes, come to me, brother. I don't know why I'm calling them tribesmen. They're actually cavemen. Oh, don't push me in the water. No, you're you're not getting away. All right, all right. They're all low. I just got to go kill them now because they run away like pansies. This guy swimming? No. They don't know how to swim yet. They haven't evolved that far. <laughs> you're just stuck on your island. Maybe not build on an island if your only access point of getting away is not getting away at all. Okay, there we go. All right, next up, stop at the mountains, see if we can find some iron ore, because that, I think we needed some more iron, if I do remember correctly, and I think that's iron ore right there. 
Gotta look for the poop-like pieces. And indeed, that is. I love how I chop that in seconds. Okay, there's lots up here, though. All right, made it home with some bones and iron. Uh, now we gotta figure out what I needed this for, because I forget already. Um, so I needed to go... Technology's not unlo unlocked. Sand sailing. I was very curious about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I needed it for the upgraded time travel device. Oh, is there a hog at my base? Please leave me alone. Um, how do I upgrade this? Oh, yeah, it's the iron anvil that we just unlocked. Of course it is. Okay, time travel device. I need two iron ingots, so we'll cook those real quick. Okay, and there we go. We got everything we need. I'm super excited. I think we're going to unlock a new area to go to, obviously. So we have upgraded. Where the hell is my time travel device now? Oh, that's right. I have to... <laughs> I didn't see it on the anvil. I have to pickaxe my time travel device. Seems really safe, by the way. Just just whack it a few times. You know, it's fine. And now we have the upgraded version. And yes, we can go to the Egypt era. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this one because the Egypt introduction at the uh, tutorial of this game looked really, really cool. And sand sailing makes way more sense now. I'm assuming it's literally just sailing on sand. Open the tech tree to see what to do next. Well, it's very, very sand. Ah, God damn it! what the frig, man? Okay, 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 chill. What the hell? You don't spawn me here. There's literally nothing here. Why of all places do I go here? Ooh. Dusty sand physics. I like it. Okay, I don't like that, though. It's following me. It's freaking... What What the hell do I do? Uh, okay, well, let's just read as the giant sandworms attacking me. Use the charge of our time travel device combined with the winds. We can build a boat that will take us swiftly across the dunes. Okay, we have to swiftly go quickly. Swiftly go quickly! It's eating me. I don't even know what this means. How do I use my time travel device with the wind? Wind! Come to me, please! I'm trying to use this thing. There's no point of reference here. There is some foliage over here so maybe i should head that way all right well i made it to some trees can i get okay i can get logs i don't know if i'm doing this right but at least i'm getting some logs am i safe here can the sand work the sand worms can definitely get here okay you know what i'm gonna go back for a second see if maybe i can build it there uh because i'm just being attacked here and it's kind of insane oh there it is dune's boat it's in this list so i need 250 logs for that all right, well, before we go back, I mean, we have a much better time here. Let's chop 250 logs, shall we? I actually think I have a bunch in my uh, totally normal storage over here, so let me check. Uh, 85 there. All right, that saves a little bit of time at least. Okay, I have 250 logs. I also love how the stacks were a max of 100. Yeah, this one, for whatever reason, has 102. Nice. So let's head back to Egypt and build that really quickly. All right, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, build it quick. Dune boat, please. There we go. Dune boat. Oh god. Oh god. Shut up. I, can't. I I understand. Please construct this quickly. Please construct this quickly. This is not horrifying at all. Oh my god. This takes forever. Why of all things does this take forever? Everything in this game is super fast except this. I guess I am putting 250 logs on a boat, so that probably should take a long time. Okay. Thank you. There was like 10% left. What the hell? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm so confused. This is a little rough around the edges. I mean, how am I doing this? <laughs> I thought we would at least have a sail. I do have to be honest, though. This is really fun to use. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, civilization. Ow, oh, I just crashed into it. Jump? Can I, can I jump with this? Kind of. All right, these guys are still going to spawn here. All right. Open it up. How the hell do I do this? There we go. Technology, a rift to Egypt has been completed. Ah, sandworms? I don't have to worry about sandworms, thank God. All right, well, now we need to find the relic inside of here. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm not alone, so let's pull out my iron spear. Not that impressive for Egypt times, but hey, it's all I have right now. And I do have a badass dash, though. All right, so yeah, this is obviously a massive castle. This might finally be inside. Oh, I don't like this. Can I, can I, can I, can I get a flashlight, please? Or a lantern, technically, because we are still in Egypt times. Dude, this place is freaking massive. I see something glowing. Glowing is always a point of interest. Yes! Oh, I'm just teleporting everywhere now. I thought for sure I'd have to fight a camel or something in this game. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. Where the hell am I now? What the hell was that? What did that say? I missed it. What the hell? Am I in, like, the back rooms? This game is sending me everywhere. What am- Is this a Roman Colosseum? Oh my god, this game is beautiful. Uh, it literally is. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. I'm in leather. 
I guess I am re ready. I, I, I ain't scared. Do I have to fight these guys? Hello? <laughs> Didn't expect to be here. All right, well, let's go in. One at a time, please. One, okay, that's not one at a time. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Oh, they're so weak. They're so weak for Spartans. You guys really suck. Okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said that. That was like half my health. Okay, there we go. There's some of them dead. Just pull in one at a time. They're clearly blind. Come on, buddy. Come here. Here, boy. Good job. Honestly, I'm a little OP'd in this game. I mean, I, I'm using primitive era weaponry. I guess iron technically isn't. And I just took out, what, 10 of them? That, that was too easy, man. All right, let's use another portal. Where am I going now? <laughs> what the hell? Where? What? I, I'm in ancient China now? What the frig, man? Uh, okay, where am I? I'm still going through all these different areas. Again, I'm not complaining. These maps are freaking beautiful. I understand they're public assets, but they're so nice. All right, is anyone going to fight me here? <laughs> I never know what to expect. Egypt had nothing. Then I was at a Roman Colosseum and I had to fight 10 of them. Now I'm just at somewhere ancient China, I'm assuming. Explore the area to find a boss. Way to spoil it for me. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Freaking spoiler. I got to fight a boss here. Well, there he is. <laughs> I found him, I think. Unless this isn't the boss. Ow. Okay, that's definitely boss. Oh, God. Okay, I'm already half health. How are you so much stronger than the Spartans? God, I wish the combat was a bit harder in this game. Seriously, just back up. Okay. He's got special attacks. Yes, fight that chair. Fight that chair, sure, sir. You're welcome, China. No problem at all. China relic obtained. All right, so we have to go back to upgrade my relic once again to go further. So we'll head back to the primitive era. We'll see what we need for that. Um, so I need one China relic and one iron time travel device. Well, I have those things, so we may as well do it. And there we go. What? Where can I go now? Colonial era? And there's bread. Nice. All right, I think we'll wait for that. I do want to go back to the dinosaur era because I would like to upgrade my dinosaur to a better one or at least try to. I understand I don't use my dinosaur much, but this is a great place to get meat. And uh, I would like to come back here and utilize it for that. So I believe what I have to do is feed higher tier dinosaurs the tier lower dinosaurs meat. So, for example, I have the Utah Raptor right now. I need to kill another one of these, and then I can feed something a little bit bigger. Then I can use that to kill something of the same species, and you get the idea. Go up the uh, tech tree, if you will, of dinosaurs. I wonder if I can fight the Triceratops right now. I mean, worst case, I'll just have to find another Utah Raptor and fight it. I'd just rather get ahead right now if we can, so... There we go. Oh, God, this guy's got a lot of freaking health, man. Okay, I might need to melee this guy. I don't even know who I could feed Triceratops meat to, but we did it. We did it. I must get your meat. Oh, no, not hides. Crap. What? What is it for meat? I hate these rules. One specific tool gives you one thing. One specific tool gives you another. So that was a waste, but at least we know we can easily kill those guys now. All right. So I killed another Utah just to find out how we get meat. I believe it's just punching them. Nope. What the hell gives meat? Oh, it's rock, isn't it? Oh my god, it's freaking rock. I haven't used a rock in forever. Do I even have a rock? No. All right, we have a Carno over here. I'm just going to kill him just so I can explore this island a bit more. <laughs> I love the fighting can actually knock down trees. All right, Carno's injured. Carno is dead because I am a master dinosaur slayer. I just, I'm not a master at finding rocks, evidently. God damn it. Oh my god, this is rocks. I forgot they look like cubes. Okay, there we go. So now we can get dinosaur meat. Perfect. I wonder if Carno is what we need for the T-Rex. Hey, big guy. I understand you're knocking down some trees. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm not trying to kill you. Okay. Jesus. So it just doesn't seem possible food. Perhaps a better food will help. What's better than Carno? Okay, let's let let's get out of here and find out what I can feed to get this dinosaur. All right, we got a Triceratops here. I just want to try it on this guy because I would love to have a Triceratops. Plus, I don't have to worry about him attacking. Okay, maybe he does attack me. <gasps> okay, what the frig, man? Oh, he just bit me. Okay, get, get get the hell out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to feed you. What the hell? Please, pl please win this. Please win this. Please, yes. Run away. This is what you get. This is karma. What the hell? <laughs> I accidentally tried to pull out my pickaxe as I uh, mounted this guy. <laughs> now I just have a floating pickaxe in front of me. All right, I found my Carno brother. 
I shall feed him his brother. And hopefully we have an upgrade. Dude, there's some response to this food. What the? What? Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. My Utah Raptor is slaying though. Slay, girl, slay. Oh, perhaps better food later on. I should read the whole message. I wonder if I can't do it right now and all I can have is a Utah Raptor. To be fair, he's, he's doing a great job, so I'm happy with that. So yeah, I guess we can't get upgraded dinosaurs until later. That's a good thing, though, because that tells me that we're going back to the dinosaur era for whatever reason. So I hate that there's invisible walls, man. So yeah, that's exciting to know. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll leave this area and head back to the primitive era because that's where the majority of my base is. All right, guys, and I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode of Grand Empress. I hope you guys are enjoying this weird little survival game. Definitely a little rough around the edges, but I'm having a blast going through the different time frames and experiencing what this game has to offer with each of them. Uh, so yeah, the next one, we'll obviously head over to the colonial area and get some bread. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the adventure. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.